Okay, so today we're going to have a look at how we repair water damage beams. So looking at these, you can see there's a fair bit of uh, water staining, general black marking again from water exposure. And we'll be looking at how you can clean all of this off. Just have a quick look over. This is obviously what it looks like before. We should see all of this disappear. Worst one here, probably this bit across here and a fair bit more around here. Okay, so what we're going to need for this is oxalic acid. You can buy this on eBay. I bought this pack here. I think it was £4.99. So uh, this should be more than enough. What you need to do is just mix it carefully. Obviously it is acid, so do treat with care. But what you need is three level teaspoons to 100 millilitres of water. And it needs to be hot water. The hotter, the better, but not boiling. The, uh, the acid works more effectively with hot water. So as you're going through the process, do just keep rewarming it so that it cleans effectively. What you're gonna need is again, oxalic acid, measuring jug, teaspoon, paintbrush, and I use a bit of a, an old toothbrush just to give, give the tough bits a really good scrub. Okay, so as you can see, I've got 200 mils. So you need three level teaspoons to every 100 mil. So as I've got 200 mils, I'm gonna need six level teaspoons of the acid powder. Two, three, two that, call that two, so that's five. And six. Okay, so need to give that a good stir, dissolve it right in before using. So mix it around with a paintbrush is fine until it's all dissolved in. Okay, it's looking good. And then it's just a case of painting it on. So uh, just be careful, obviously it is acid. So uh, just try and keep it to where you're working and uh, but do apply a, a liberal coat. It goes on pretty easy. You'll see it's starting to work pretty much straight away. And the more you scrub, the more effective it is. So just remember, the longer you leave it on, the more it's working. So if you don't want your beams to be uh, bright white, take it off sooner rather than later. So if you watch on this black bit here, you'll see the stain start to disappear. Let's just keep this going. That's looking good. So let's move on. Actually, I'm going to put a bit on this front one here, just to get that working in while we do some other areas. Let's just catch those drips.
Okay. This is coming on pretty well. Let's just keep going along this front edge now. Let's have a look how this is getting on. So all that is looking much better. It's cleaned all those black marks off. Back onto this top surface down here. So you can see that black mark's pretty much all but gone. Same for that one. Leave it to work for a little longer. But yeah, looking good. So this has been on for about 10 minutes now. It's looking pretty good. Couple have still got a bit of a mark there. Give that another go. And a bit of a black mark still there, so we'll give that another go. Otherwise, looking pretty good. So, reheated my solution, and off we go again. So, let's add another coat on it. Still not quite come off. So, I'm going to go for the toothbrush, give it a good scrub. that have been done so I'm going to give them a quick once over with damp cloth stop the acid effect and then move on to the bits yet to do okay so So now it's just a case of repeating for the areas that haven't been done as yet. Down the side here, this one down here, and same for the other side, yeah. Uh, under, around here. So, I'm going to get to that, see how we get on. Right, so that's those remaining bits done. Still got a bit left on there, need to give that a bit of an extra scrub. This one came up really well. As is this one, it's pretty much, yep, yeah, it's all gone. So, just a bit of an extra scrub on this one over here, and I think we're good. So, back on with the toothbrush. Let's get that in there, let's give this a bit of a go. Okay, that's looking good. Oh, let's look with that. Okay. So let's give that a couple of minutes just to uh, get the last little bits out and then we'll wipe it over with a damp cloth again. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I think all those marks have come off there. That's all clear. That is all clear. Yep. Yeah. Everything was off there. Everything's off there as well, so I think we're good. So I'm going to give this a wipe down. Remember, clean cold water, stop the acid effect. So I think we'll leave that to dry, come back to it in a bit, see how it's looking, make sure there's no other little bits we need to get out. 
and then we'll have a look at how we then refinish the beams, wax and oil them. Right, so this has been drying for about 20 minutes now. So you can see it's starting to dry out pretty well. It's all looking pretty nice. All the black marks have gone. All the water marks have gone. So I'm just gonna leave that for a bit longer to dry out before we do anything about treating the beams. Right, so these have had a good time to dry now. All looking really good. All the marks have gone. I think we're good. I think we're good. So, what we're going to do now is uh, treat the beams with an oil wax mix. So, the one I always use is this one, which is Osmo Pollux Oil. Does smell a bit, so uh, keep the window open. But okay, so give it a good uh, a good mix up. It does tend to separate after a bit. So. thin coat to start. You can do more coats afterwards but uh, the coat, it does vary the colour a little so uh, do just start with a light amount. So there we go, finished. Just needs to wait for this to dry. It'll sink in quite a bit, it looks a bit dark in a minute, but uh, it'll all sink in, lighten up as it dries. All good, all the black marks gone. Looks a million times better than it did. Cheers.